What's going on guys? We got more Xenoblade information coming in and Chronicles X is looking like it's going to be game of the year, at least in my opinion, because I've been itching for an MMO to play lately. This one looks like it's going to fit the bill quite nicely. Well, then again, I'm saying it's going to be an MMO and I don't really even know the exact details of it, but hopefully more details and information can be found out now. I want to give a shout out to Plato Xavier who showed me this article which talks about Xenoblade Chronicles almost needing two discs. That's actually a pretty damn important fact right there. This goes to show you the massive scale of this game and considering how the Nintendo Direct looked earlier this month, I can understand that totally. So let's take a look at what the article has to say right here. And by the way, the link to it will be in the description below, so go and check that out. But we are here at Nintendo Life, and Xenoblade Chronicles X is so sizable that it almost needed one more fucking disc. I like the sound of that, man. I love it. You know, I need a game to replace that hole that Fantasy Star Online 2 left for me after Sega couldn't follow up. Goddamn, there's no hope for that game coming to America now that they're letting off people. No way. Not too far off of 25 gigabytes then. Damn, 25 gigabytes for a Wii U title is rather large to be honest with you. With the release of Xenoblade Chronicles X in a few months, just a few months away in Japan, does it have a release date in Japan? Let me know. Um, the official social network accounts for the game are revealing more details. An interesting update now relates to the file size of the game. Other recent details have highlighted the sheer size of the game world, which has a non-linear approach and is apparently five times larger than the huge landscapes of Xenoblade Chronicles. And I never even played Xenoblade Chronicles and that game looked like one hell of a large game. Every time I kept bringing up Xenoblade Chronicles to play on the channel, everyone kept chiming in saying, Yo, Etika, my nigga, you don't understand how massive that game is. If you start a Let's Play of that, you ain't gonna finish for at least 100 episodes. So. Really interesting stuff to know there, but generating that world and all the rules and programming that makes it function can lead to enormous file sizes. Some open world games on rival systems can be particularly sizable. Monolith Soft's title is no different. That oh my god, the more I hear about this game, the more I need to get my fucking hands on it. Producer Shingo Kawabata has explained that in recent posts on Twitter, the new title was almost so big that it would need an additional Wii U disc. Xenoblade Chronicles X is using up most of the space on the Wii U disc. It's really, really close to the storage limit, to the point at one stage we were considering using more than one disc for the game. To enjoy playing, the enormous seamless map must load quickly, which was achieved through the hard work of our programming division, but we had help from Nintendo proper implementing a further improvement to what we had. So, you know, this is amazing to hear. Xenoblade Chronicles, the first game, was such an amazing hit that Nintendo even offered their own assistance in the programming and the coding to ensure that the gameplay experience would have that silky smooth Nintendo feel to it. I love it. I believe we're going to reveal the details of that on the official page in the future, but to people considering purchasing the packaged version of the games, as one of the game developers, I highly recommend you make use of this improvement. Hmm. I believe we're going to reveal the details of that. Okay. So apparently, wait a minute, so, but to the people considering purchasing the package version of the game as one of the game's developers, I highly recommend you make use of the improvement. So the improvement that Nintendo implemented to make the game load up smoother. Okay, okay. To enjoy playing, okay, so Nintendo had a way to make the gameplay load up smoother, and Monolith Soft is saying that they're hoping that people utilize that way if you're buying the hard disk copy of the game. Understandable. The Bespoke. Um, the bespoke Wii U optical discs are 25 gigabytes in size, so it's based on the comments above that we can expect the eShop version to be above 20 gigabytes. That's a fucking massive download. Uh, but I mean, I, I, I think it's well worth it. Considering the scale of this game, you know pretty much it's going to be a hit. I mean, if this game sucks when it comes out, then just shoot me in the fucking eyeball right now because I'm, I won't be prepared for that. I have so much hype riding in on this game right now. The thought of a reality where Xenoblade Chronicles X fails? Nah, I don't want to think about that. It's worth noting that Monolith Soft would have been under pressure to make the game a reasonable size to fit on a disc. Unlike rival systems, the Wii U doesn't typically run a game from both a disc and preordained installed data. What? Oh my god, the Wii U? Are you kidding me? So the Wii U still doesn't support the Wii So every other console, if you don't know, wait a minute, hold on, let me make sure I understand what's being said here. Unlike rival systems, the Wii U doesn't typically run a game both from a disc and preordained install data. Come on, Nintendo! Come on! We're in 2015, and you mean to tell me that the games can't even preload on the Wii U to make the loading streams or the loading times a little bit easier? 
So you mean to tell me if I play Xenoblade Chronicles X, due to the massive fucking scale of the game on a disc, the goddamn thing is gonna have loading screens from here to Kingdom Dick? Maybe I'm jumping the gun here, but come on, Nintendo. Come on. Preordained install data. Please implement it at some point, man. It'll make your games run a lot better. Although, you know, your games run do really well. Most games on the Wii U run at 1080p 60, but I mean, still. Come on, baby. Come on, Ninty. Oh, man. Oh, man. If this game doesn't run at 60 frames a second, I'm gonna stab a nigga. The 8 gigabyte unit is a clear reason, as mandatory installs would potentially rule out some Wii U owners. That's a theory, in any case. Regardless, it's clear that Xenoblade Chronicles X is going to be a massive experience on Wii U. If it is truly 300 hours long, as has been claimed, we'll certainly get the most out of every megabyte of data. You're damn right. At the end of the day here, you know, no matter how the game plays, I'm sure they're going to ensure that it's a, a pleasurable experience on all assets, even if you don't have pre-installed ordained data, you know. That, I'm mad about that, but you know what? It seems like Nintendo is just taking their time with implementing these, these modern day beneficial functions that make games run more efficiently. Like, come on, why don't they have that implemented at this point? It's a, it's a, it's a current gen console, come on. Either way, guys, let me know what you think about this whole thing in the comments below. This just got me more hyped for Xenoblade Chronicles X in the first place. I would love to see more information for this thing come out, so if you do find out anything new, or that's worth maybe doing a video on, definitely send it to me on Twitter, and I'll link you in the description, and I'll link the article as well too, so you know what? We both benefit from the shit. Either way, I'll talk to you niggas later. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.